What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Quentin Tarantino's new movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Hey, before you watch this review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. I've mentioned to you a thousand times before that nobody writes like Quentin Tarantino does. And so, as a huge fan, I'm super stoked to tell you that Once Upon a Time in Hollywood does not disappoint. This movie is hilarious, it's incredibly amusing, it's exquisitely shot, and it goes without saying that both Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt are outstanding. Plus, it has somewhat of a twist ending that you won't see coming a mile away. This is such a refreshing and rewarding film, I can't get enough of it. With Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Tarantino proves yet again that he is one of the best storytellers in the business. Oscar winner Leonardo DiCaprio plays TV star Rick Dalton, who feels that his career may be fading as he discovers that Hollywood now only utilizes him for roles that are meant for has-beens. Brad Pitt plays Rick stunt double Cliff Booth, who's loyal to the T. They make their way around an industry that they hardly recognize anymore in this film, which presents multiple storylines in a tribute to Hollywood's golden age. Co-starring Margot Robbie as Roman Polanski's then-wife, Sharon Tate. Obviously, we have all known for a long time that Quentin Tarantino is a film nerd. Many of his previous movies were influenced by either classic Golden Age cinema or spaghetti western. And they are often accompanied by a selection of soundtrack that takes us down memory lane. So that is Tarantino's style, in addition to the long dialogues that he smartly writes for his characters. So this is no different. But in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Quentin Tarantino shows that side of him on high gear. By that I mean in this one, he really, really, really wants you to know that he loves cinema. Not only does it feature movie within a movie or TV within a movie, or the inclusion of Leonardo DiCaprio in familiar scenes, just like Forrest Gump inserted Tom Hanks into historical events. But Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is so brazen about it that it's as if, it's as if the whole thing is just two hours and 40 minutes of Quentin Tarantino going, hey, have you seen that movie, man? Dude, you gotta check it out. Oh man, you gotta rent that one too. And have you watched this TV show? What? You haven't seen it? You are missing out. <laughs> I mean, you can just imagine how much fun Quentin Tarantino must have geeked out when writing Once Upon a Time in Hollywood script. And now, to the crux of it all. The way I see it is, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is Quentin Tarantino's most entertaining work yet. Sure, Leonardo DiCaprio's character represents every actor out there who's afraid of being kicked out of relevance, but Tarantino doesn't present that in a way that gets you down. As a matter of fact, without spilling spoilers here, because this is a spoiler-free review, Tarantino juxtaposes that with a twist on what is supposed to be a tragic historical event in order to give you a hopeful resolve, which goes to what I said earlier about it being entertaining. And also, the comedy seems more prevalent this time around compared to his previous films. The build-up is fantastic, the pacing is great, two hours and 40 minutes fly by just like that, not a single boring moment, and there are some intense scenes as well. And I love how Oscar-winning DP Robert Richardson's cinematography often pans back or pans away to give you a good look at some of the landmarks and street names that may have existed back then and could still be around today. It adds to the authenticity of the late 60s, early 70s feel of the film, which itself already looks grainy, so that also helps. Now, Leonardo DiCaprio is a national treasure, man. I cannot emphasize that enough. He's done some great performances in the past, obviously, but what you see here in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is yet another evidence of Leonardo DiCaprio's mastery in the art of acting. As Rick Dalton, 
DiCaprio's range is wide from here to there, covering all spectrums from being playful to fearful to furious to an emotional wreck, and DiCaprio does it effortlessly without breaking a sweat. There's a scene in which Rick Dalton's occasionally forgets his lines, and DiCaprio executes that so well, like it's not part of what he is supposed to do. I kid you not, it almost feels like a privilege just watching Leo do what he does best. The same praise goes to Brad Pitt, who exudes this rather carefree, confident approach as stuntman Cliff Booth. Brad has this smirk the entire time, and it's oddly magnetic. Damian Lewis may be the one playing Steve McQueen in this movie, but the person who actually moves and talks as cool as Steve McQueen here is Brad Pitt. Now, having seen the movie, I kind of understand some of the criticisms out there regarding Margot Robbie not getting enough screen time in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, but my counter-argument to that is this is more of a Leo and Brat film. Margot Robbie is more of supporting, but she does a hell of a job at it though. Not only does she look the part as Sharon Tate, Margot also perfectly embodies that era's affluent lifestyle, and when Sharon Tate sees her name on the posters, and request the theater to let her watch her movie. Margot in that scene is like a kid in a candy store. There's a lot of other A-list actors who also show up in this movie for a few minutes of scenes here and there, including Al Pacino, Timothy Oliphant, Bruce Dern, Dakota Fanning, the late Luke Perry. Their characters may not have a lot of shades to them, but they all play an imperative part in the journeys of both Rick Dalton and Cliff Booth. So this is not just cameos for cameos sake, you know what I'm saying? The third act in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is so bonkers! I promise I won't reveal it to you here, but it does have that Tarantino usual gratuitous violence. Only this time, it's more wild and loud and outrageous as opposed to brutally disturbing. Okay. Would you believe it if I told you that Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is essentially a comedy movie about friendship? You'll see how all of that plays out when you watch the movie for yourself. But just know or be rest assured that Quentin Tarantino is taking you on this ride that ultimately comes full circle. It may have a bit of his old Pulp Fiction nonlinear storytelling approach, but this is actually more straightforward than what Tarantino has ever done before. You will love the characters, and the actors' performances will floor you. So many scene stealers, including that young little girl that Leonardo gets to interact with. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is designed to leave a lasting impression on you. One of the best films I've seen all year.